Hello everyone, this is Ashley Tucker for My Favorite Things. Today I'm going to be making a card using the Being With You stamp set. This is a really cute stamp set that has all of these little animal couples, and I decided to use the little bear couple. This is a really good stamp set for any of your anniversary cards or your Valentine's Day cards or your I love you cards. Today I'm going to be making a anniversary card, but really it could be used for any of those occasions. So for this image, I decided to bust out my watercolors. It's actually been quite a while since I watercolored anything and I was getting the itch I needed to paint. I used my Misty and I stamped the image with some black ink onto some Arches cold pressed watercolor paper. Having the Misty tool in this situation is particularly good because this kind of paper is very textured, so you do want to stamp it a couple of times in order to have a nice solid image. I'm using my Prima watercolors and I'm using a number two watercolor brush. Now I'm pretty out of practice with watercoloring, like I said it's been a little while, and I'm by no means an expert. I always try to keep it kind of simple. The way that I find works best for me is to use a very small amount of water and get my paintbrush very saturated with color. You don't want it to be dripping, but you do want a lot of color on the brush. And then I add that color to the areas that I want to be the darkest, so all of my shaded and shadowed areas. I then clean off my brush and using just a very small amount of water, I start to kind of blend out that color that I laid down. So I go into the shadowed area and I kind of pull that color away towards the rest of the area. And this is just using plain water. There's no color on my brush at this point. The only color that I'm using now is the color that I've already put on the paper for the shadows. And because I used such a saturated amount of paint for those areas, I do end up usually having enough paint to fill in the rest of the area. And the further I get away from those shadowed areas, the lighter the color gets. So it kind of creates that shadow gradient. So for these bears, I actually only ended up using three different colors of paint. I have the light brown and the dark brown, and then also just a little pink for the blush on their cheeks. Because I didn't use very much water, this does dry very quickly, so I was able to die cut it right after I was done, and then I moved on to creating my background. For my background, I have a panel of 4x6 Nino Solar White cardstock, and I taped that to my mat, and then I took the Heart Extraordinaire stencil and I taped that over the top of the paper, making sure to line it up exactly where I want it to be on the background. I'm going to be blending a few different colors of Distress Oxide ink on this heart. I'm using the colors Worn Lipstick, Seedless Preserves, and Chipped Sapphire. And I just switched back and forth between the three colors until I had a nice seamless blend. Now I left this next part in the video because I wanted to show you how I work through some of my mistakes and how I change my mind sometimes and how your card can evolve as you're working on it. So my original idea was to add this cloud stencil over the top and have some puffy clouds in the heart. And I'm using a white pigment ink to add those clouds, but I really, really didn't like the way that it looked. So I decided to change it up and fix it after doing this. You can see the moment right here where I looked at this and I decided that I really didn't like it. And here I'm just kind of thinking, trying to figure out what I'm going to do. And then I decide before starting over, why not try going over the whole thing with the white pigment ink and see what that looks like. And surprisingly, I really liked the way that that looked. I like how it kind of muted those colors and made them look kind of foggy. I thought it went really well with the little image of the bears too. I put that background into my Misty and I'm going to stamp a sentiment with some black ink right underneath that heart. And this sentiment comes from the same stamp set as those bears. I then made a 5x7 card base out of some craft cardstock, and I popped up that panel with some foam tape on top of it right in the middle so that I have a border around the edge. 
I also decided to pop up my little bears with some foam tape. I wanted them to have some dimension and I placed them right on top of the heart, kind of off to the bottom a little bit so that you can see that heart in the background a little bit better. For my embellishments, I grabbed three little puffy heart stickers and they kind of coordinate with the colors really well on this, so I thought they were perfect. And I placed them around the bears. And for some highlights, I didn't want to use a gel pen because this is watercolor and I thought that that would be a little too harsh, so I decided to use a white pencil instead. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you really enjoyed today's card and that it gave you some ideas for your own cards. I hope you have a fantastic day today and I'll see you next time.